Next one. What uh, next question is what what do you do in the off season? So you just you finished playing in Germany, you have, I don't know, two or three months off. What do you what do you do in the off season to kind of keep your game where it needs to be? Um no well first I try and get my body back in such a long season. So I try and take a week, maybe two off of the court, but also stay in shape because there's nothing worse than trying to get back into shape after you get out of shape. Um Mostly though, we just come in here, try and get a lot of shots up, some individual stuff, because during the season, it's a lot more team practice, so more reps in here in the summer. Um, toward the end of the summer, play a little more five on five, and try and get some weight back, some strength and all that kind of stuff back. It's Re just daily, keep working on your body somehow. It's like teaching a little bit. You gotta, re you gotta recharge your battery a little bit in oh, the off season. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's such a long season, and no matter how much you love basketball, you need a couple of days off the court. Right, and I've talked to Wesley about it. People forget that it's a job, too. Yeah. It's no different than you know, going working at the bank or yeah. coming and teaching math. You're getting paid to yeah. do a job, yeah. just like everybody else, and you know, some jobs get paid more. You know, if you're a surgeon, you get paid more, but it's still a job. You gotta show up and do your job. Yeah, and the hard, I think sometimes the hard part about playing professionally is you're, on, you're always on somebody else's schedule. And in the summer, you get to be on your own schedule. That's that's the best thing about summer. Yeah, it's very similar to teaching.